So this video is about named scopes, nested scopes, and being able to pass information back and forth between different scopes. So this is the, uh, the finished page, what it's going to look like. Uh, what I have here is this is actually um, a service that's giving me a title and this is one view and this is another view so there's two views these two are nested inside of a bigger one and as I click on one what's happening is I'm taking the element that's being clicked and I'm passing that value up to the parent scope which is then passing it down to this scope so that it can load different data based on what's being clicked in the first one and you can see up here I've got the title dynamically changing based on that value that I'm passing up. Okay, now as for the HTML, this is effectively the, the finished HTML. This is what's being generated. So our body, that's our app. Inside there we have a div, which is our view called main. Inside of main there are two other views, one called series, one called parts. Now every time you create one of these views, there's a controller that comes along with it. Along with the controller comes the scope object. Scope object is your model. That's where the data is saved. So this one right here, series, has its own scope object and it can read and write and change the values that are inside of its scope. However, it can also see up here, it can read the values of the scope that belongs to main. This element here, parts, it can read its own scope, it can write to its own scope, it can change values, create new values, but it can also read from its parent, the main scope. And then up here at the very top, the ng app, with the app, there's another data repository called the root scope. So this one has the root scope, main has its own scope, series has its own scope, parts has its own scope. And what we're going to be doing to make this application work is when we do something inside here, we're going to change something on our scope and then we're going to pass that value from here up to the main. The main is going to be listening for the event that's being emitted by here and then after it's caught the event being emitted, it's going to broadcast back down to this one and this one's going to be listening for the broadcast so when it gets that it will be able to take that initial value so I click on Harry Potter this emits the change like an event up to the parent the parent then broadcasts down to this scope that a change has been made and it loads the different data okay so let's take a look at there's our index HTML, there's our main view. Inside of that main view is being loaded this. And app name is our title for, and then we're getting the name of the movie series that's being clicked inside of series. So here's the other two. There's the UI view called series and a UI view called parts. So these are nested, but they're also named. And they're sitting inside of this whole object, which is the template for the main view. Okay, so here's our JavaScript. I've con condensed everything into one single file just to make it easier for um, all the script to be viewed at once. So we have one provider here using a constant. I've given it the name app name and it's this string, view series parts. If we look back here, view series parts this is the title that we're loading. The app name is just the name of the variable that I created. This other one, Lord of the Rings, is coming from down here. My routing, because I've got named views, I've got one state called home. Inside that I have a views object. The views object, here's my main, that's the first name, so main is going to be loading this, and then inside of that this is the one that's tied directly to home. Inside of that, we've got series at home, parts at home. So this is parts inside of home, series inside of home. So Angular is going to be looking for these two names, and they will load these templates using these controllers. 
So I've got three controllers, three templates, and down below, here are my three controllers. The main controller, scope.appName. Now this is the variable being used inside of main. There it is. So that's scope.appName. And I can access this because I'm passing in the string and there's the variable and this variable references back to the constant that was up at the top here. All right, I will come back to this scope.on shortly. Inside the series list controller, we have an HTTP function that runs when the controller starts and it's going to go and fetch our series.json file that we used in a previous video and it will bring back response.data.series so that series array is being passed into our scope.series which started off as an empty array and then this is what's being used inside my series list template right here there it is so for s in series I'm displaying all of the titles so this s variable we will come back and we will use that shortly we added an ng click to call this function right here change ID this is going to be called when the person whoever it is clicks on this now this actually should be a, a ul I'm using list items inside here okay there we are so when somebody clicks on the list item we're going to call the function change ID. This change ID function exists inside the controller for series list. And here it is, change ID, scope.change ID. All it does is emit. It's like creating a brand new event. So I'm creating an event called movie change and I'm emitting it. That means that I'm sending out this event back up the chain of scopes from where I am up to the root scope. I'm firing this event and it's bubbling up through all the all the scopes. This is the name of my event and this is the data that I'm passing along. So I'm taking this, that's my object that I'm clicking on, and then s.id. So remember I said I was going to come back to the s. That variable is this one right here. So that is the S in series. So this is one of my elements out of my series array. So I'm grabbing that one element and I'm saying inside that get me the ID and s.title. So get me the title and the ID and I'm putting them into these two objects and I'm passing this one object up the chain. I'm emitting it up the chain. So my main controller is going to be listening for this movie change event. So I'm emitting it here and scope.on is listening for this event. Event, that's the movie change event that's happening and obj, that's my data, that's this object that's being passed up inside here. Series name and movie ID I've got those as two variables on the scope belonging to main. I'm passing them in and once that's done I'm broadcasting so from the parent down to all of its children an event called switch movie and I'm passing the same data here. This is the exact same data that came up to here. I'm putting it back into here. I could actually just put obj but I want it to be a little bit more verbose here. So I'm broadcasting this back down the chain and that will be picked up by my parts controller. So it has an HTTP function that goes and fetches all the titles and then this switch movie being broadcast is being picked up with the on event on switch movie. This function runs and I'm going to loop through all of the data. So scope.movies is all the data from this data data slash titles.json. This file we're going to read through all of the elements inside there. Here's my loop. I'm looking through and when I find a match for scope.movieid, 
their scoped up movie ID. And then this is the ID from the array. When I find the matching one, then I'm going to set the movie name equal to the name from the JSON file. And episodes is my array. And in my parts list, this scope.episodes, here it is, episodes, E will represent each one, and I'm just writing that out. These are the names of the movies. And there is the other variable, movie name. That's scope.movie name. Inside of the controller, P list. So scope.movie name right there, and it's being set inside here, scope.movie name. So I'm grabbing the movie name, and I'm grabbing the array of episodes, and those are being written out on our screen like this. So as we click, we're emitting from this child to the parent, and then we're broadcasting from the parent to the child. This child and this parent both have an on listener on the scope. So scope.on, scope.broadcast, scope.emit. And that is how you can pass information back and forth between the various objects. And this is how you use views to name different parts of your page so you can pass data back and forth.